Seven out of expenses of what? We'll help me plan it together. Whoa. Whoa. How we think we can wait for us. There are a lot of people with learning disabilities getting and keeping a job. They pay enough to live on. Would be really hard. Doing something we all like to do. Okay, Beth, have you had experience of working in supermarkets and charity shops then? Well, yes, it's just a one charity shop, but near enough to the same sort of thing. Yeah, because um, I used to do eight years of Sainsbury's and Lee, but at first it was all right at the start, at the beginning, because that was at the Wigan Sainsbury's. You were in all the different areas and that was nice and made friends, but it was later on when I went on to the transfer shop at the Lee Sainsbury's. It was all right here and there, but after that it did go, it, it didn't really float the boat really, where that was. So it wasn't really what you wanted to do, is that what you're saying? Not towards the end. Yeah. And with mine, that's been ongoing, it's a long story. It, it, it used to be slightly varied, but now that's not close in the boat either. Yeah. So what? So you think it's important that you do the things that you're interested in? Yeah? Yes. In a work some, situation. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. are some areas that I, I, I find that are more me that I want to pursue and carry on. All the. Um, Always talk with my holistics and my general accent career with a few areas involved, and one of them being healthy a lot more behind the scenes as well as on the scenes with more words as well. It's a special support, I'll say it is. Special support means money. It is getting the For those of us who travel independently, it's not that easy. This is Brad's story. Um, basically, I'm an independent bus traveller. I've been travelling on buses for four years. At first, I was unsure about that for several, for all reasons. What if I travel on a bus without training? What if I haven't got money, bus fare or bus pass or whatever? What if... There are strangers, bad people, or knockabouts on the bus. What if I get lost and end up somewhere far away? I'm trying to make sure none of these situations will ever happen. But luckily, a bus travelling teacher trained us and made sure that we travelled safely. And after a few trainings, we've travelled on our own to college for the first time. I nearly had a panic attack, thinking it could go wrong. But we managed to reach our destination successfully and I managed and I feel proud of myself. But then this year things started to go wrong. There are some high school children acting so immature. They were talking so loudly, laughing or swearing. And there was one time I've been minding my own business, listening to my music on my phone, and uh, when I look up them kids were staring at me, provoking and bullying me, and it's been haunting me ever since. But I told someone who can put a stop to that, and I'm quite glad that it did stop, but I'm still not confident on bus travelling situation. But other than that, everything involving that sometimes went well and good. So being out and about on your own does bring its own personal challenges. I myself personally prefer to travel with a parent after dark for the same reasons that Brad's already explained. That's a lot of ideas. Okay, Fran, do you want to tell us a little bit about our new 
Real Work programme, what it means to you? Yeah, Real Work means to me a lot. Um, I've uh, done, I've started doing my uh, experience at um, the garage down at the bottom, doing velting cars and that. And uh, I've gone down with um, Keegan, my uh, work brother. Um, he gives me support of the um, doing on the, the garage. So, how has that been going with Kieran supporting uh, you? It's been doing very well. Uh, I'm enjoying it, uh, doing the floating cars and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the garage. Because you've had a lot of uh, work experience and jobs in the yeah, past, haven't you, Fran? Yeah, I've had uh, work experience the jobs before. I've worked at um, Asda, at, like the big Asda down at the bottom. Um, and that didn't, do, that didn't work out well because there's nobody supporting me. Somebody should have been there working with me. Which they should which, which they should have been working with me, but they didn't. They weren't working with me. So I just have like not bothered um, going back to as the um as I've been support with me. And have you had um other um experiences like that? Um uh, I've 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 used to work to down fifty bedrooms. I've had support the uh, at my uncle's um fifty bedrooms making wardrobes. jobs. I've there's been people that helping me out mm -hmm. and I've not been on my own and nothing except for the bridges. There's only been people there. I've had one called Craig what well, used to work there and he's back, he's back there and he used to give me a lift up all every every time I used to work at Stella for the bridges and uh, I've had support off him, I've had support off mm -hmm. everybody even my uncle, even my auntie Barbara, who has been like my cousin, like, um, they've not been there and stand by me and they've, um, they've felt they've just supported me. So um, it's about the support then? It's just supported me with the um, fitted bedrooms and everything and they've been there for me working. Okay, so just, just um, to tell us a little bit about Community <coughs> Companions as well, Fran. That was an idea that w we talked through and that you came yeah. up with, really. Yeah. Um, and it. it was about, you you know, you saying Uncle about giving something Uncle. back to the community. Uncle. Do you want to tell Uncle. us a little Uncle. bit more about that? Uncle. 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 Your mum came up with a name, yeah. Yeah, mum came up with a name, yeah. Yeah. Uncle. 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 Tell us just a little bit about what what that oh, the, work but experience is. Well, it is because experience is going at the adult, uh, adult and well, uh, helping like old people, like with the shopping, the gardening, the cooking, the shopping, and all that. Well, it's going at the helping the old people what can't get about and tell them all about more words, what we do at more words, and all that. One. So it is the companionship, it's companionship uh, friendship, friendship and then what goes on in the uh, distance of the village we can uh, just go out, go out there and help the people what can't get out the boat they just go out and uh, help them do the um, help them do the um, jobs and everything what goes on there to uh, the exclusive Wigan and everything and the houses. Loneliness is hard. Loneliness makes us depressed, anxious, and affects overall well being. Living in a society where people are assessed every year as to their employability puts so much pressure on families and the person with a disability. We have to repeat ourselves over and over again. Having to continually explain myself and my disability to people who have very limited understanding is so stressful and puts my anxiety through the roof. Many people with autism cannot hold a job down. At more than words, people know and understand me. I receive the support I need to carry out my role. I cannot imagine anywhere else that we make time to do this. 
the current system of people with disabilities having to justify themselves and be put in positions where they cannot cope is very damaging. Getting a paid job is difficult for anyone. It is unrealistic without the support in place. I think my situation is unique. I know I am valued for my talents and I contribute to the overall success of More Than Words and the community. Thank you.